all right what's going on youtube so i got a lot of orders in for these boxes so i'm going to put together a tutorial video here to show you guys how to use the box and how everything works so this way you won't bombard me with questions because uh, it's pretty easy to set up but i want to make sure i got everybody on how to do it so this is how your box will come you open it up you've got the actual box itself which is still in the plastic which we'll open that up in a second and up under here you just lift this up and you've got the remote with the batteries in it a brand new hdmi cable and of course your power adapter you plug in your wall and hook up to the back of the box we won't be using any of those because i already got the ones out of my personal box that i'm going to use to demonstrate what's going on so all right and so we'll take this one out of the plastic And the actual back of the box has these hookups. So you got your hot HDMI port there, you got your Ethernet port, you got your power cord, you got some external audio. So if you want to hook up like some headphones or plug it up to some speakers, you can. And you got a USB port. Flip it around, you got three other USB ports, and you got an SD card slot in case you want to plug it up, put some photos on, read some photos off of there, or something from your camera. And that's that. So I'm gonna plug it up. Now here I've got HDMI cable, got the power cord, and we got an Ethernet. Now I'll show you both how to use Ethernet and the Wi-Fi. Ethernet will set itself up. You just have to plug it up. Wi-Fi you have to go in and configure. It is better if you use Ethernet. Of course, hardwiring is always better than Wi-Fi. So if you can hook it up directly to your wireless router with an Ethernet cable, and you will need one because it doesn't come with one. Ethernet is better. It's faster and it gives you a better quality stream, less lag, less buffer. You can watch, you know, watch your stuff without it messing up or having any problems. Wi-Fi works good too. You just got to have good internet speed. So we're going to get everything plugged up. I'm going to plug in the HDMI back here. Okay. Plug in the Ethernet. And we're going to plug in the power. Okay. So you got those in. You'll see your blue light here. Box is on. Comes up on your TV. In this case, I'm using my HDMI monitor. You get your introduction here. And... Then you'll get a main menu screen and I'll show you the basic settings that you'll need to do. Now, if you're using Ethernet, you won't have to set up the Wi-Fi, but just for the purpose of this video, we're gonna not, we're gonna set it up on Wi-Fi. So see these icons here represent Ethernet connection. So if you got your plug-in hardwire when your box first comes up, this is how it's gonna look. Now, what we're gonna do, I've loaded all the applications that you'll need on this front screen here. So as you see down here, this is the program that has all the streaming, it's called Kodi. Beside that, you've got Netflix, Pandora, you got Megabox, which is another video program, Showbox, which is a video program, Sky HD, which lets you look at stations and channels overseas, first on TV, then you've got, uh, of course, your Facebook, your Twitter, and your Google Play Store. Now, this is an Android device, so it does run Android, so you do have Google Play. So any games you want to put on here, anything Android-wise, you can download and run on this box. It does run Android. But for this purpose, we're going to go to Settings. And when we go to settings, you get your menu. Now I'm using a remote. Of course, you got your middle button here. And it's got, you just, you just use your up, down, left, right, navigate. So what we're gonna do, in this case, you would go to network. Because if you went on Wi-Fi, this is what you would do. So you hit your middle button for okay for network. And you see it says, everything that is now connected because I'm plugged in. But for this demonstration, we'll go to Wi-Fi. Go to Wi-Fi, and it's going to show you the available networks. And actually, it's because I'm using Ethernet, it's not going to let me, so we got to unplug it here. So we'll unplug the Ethernet cord. Okay, now it says Ethernet not connected, and now we get to choose Wi-Fi. So we go to Wi-Fi, and you see there's my network, Will's home router. There's other networks here. So you would just simply put in your network, put in your code, and then you connect it. So in this case, we'll put in the password, 
Well, actually, we won't put in the password. But once you're connected, you'll see this icon up here, just like an Android phone. It'll light up and let you know you're connected. Now, for this purpose, we're going to pull it back in because I'm going to show you the actual part of getting everything set up. So what I did was just plug back in. So now you'll see Ethernet is connected now. So you hit your home button here on the remote picture of the house. That brings you back to your main screen. So the app that I was showed you in the first video is Cody. So we're going to go to that, which is this first icon down here. And you notice it's highlighted. You hit your middle button and it loads up. Now, when this loads up, here's the menus that you used, you saw me navigating through earlier. So, you got your different categories. You got movies. Phoenix is one of the sources that allows you to stream things. As you can see, these icons are now coming up. You can just simply use your remote here to navigate through. So, for this case, let's just say we want to look at one of the cool things I noticed about this is they have different categories so you got some stuff like kid zone so this is pretty cool a lot of people have kids they want to keep the kids entertained you got a Disney collection this has every single Disney movie ever created and it's broken down by year so you use your remote let's say we go to the 2000s okay it's loading you'll see the working down in the corner all the movies you could ever think of are right here. And I mean, there's tons of them, as you can see. So whenever you want to go back through a menu, you simply hit your back button right here on the remote. This takes you back. So we go back here. So we go down to 2010s. And... Got a lot of movies there. So, uh, well, that's frozen. Let's just pop in the movie. So, let's try that one. You just simply hit your middle button, select it, and you got multiple links you can choose from. All of these play the same movie. Just go to link one, for instance, hit OK, and you got to give it time to load. Now, this is where your internet speed matters because the faster your internet, the faster this stuff loads. But you just give it some time and you see it's down there working and there's your movie. So it starts to play. And that's a 720p copy, so that's high def. And there's your movie. Now, so to go on to the next thing, you can hit your middle button here, okay? And it brings up a menu. When you hit okay, it brings up details here. You got your artwork. You got your pause, you can use your arrows here. You got your pause, stop, rewind, fast forward. So if you pause it, it tells you what's going on in the movie. Gives you a little story, background story about the movie. In this case, we're gonna stop the movie because we're gonna demonstrate something else. So we stop, when you stop, it brings you back to the list of movies you were just at. Use your back arrow, go back again, and that brings us out of the kids. Same thing works with the live TV. These are your different sources for live TV. I personally use Scarface, so pay attention to this, y'all. This is one I use for live TV. The Scarface source, if you just take your down arrow, go down here to Scarface, hit your OK. Go to load TV categories, hit your OK button. Go to your USA channels. And let's say I want to pull up CBS HD. It's time 630. So the even news should be on. So we hit CBS HD, give it a second to load, and boom. So it looks like the regular news is going off, and CBS News is going to come on. You'll probably see a commercial come up. There it is. So we go again. We hit your middle button here. We're going to stop this and go to the next. Okay. So now we're back. You remember, you use your back arrow. So these, these buttons going to become your friend. So your back arrow, back arrow, and you're back at your menu. So you got your workout videos, same exact steps. You can choose these options. You can go down here and choose these. I won't demonstrate those. All these are pretty much the same. 
So once you get used to these, you can find them now. With the movies, as you notice, these little boxes keep popping up here as you change categories. So basically, these load the most popular movies that people are choosing based on this. So there's movies in here, as you can see. X-Men, and some, and then some of these movies are high def. Some of them are standard definition copies. So all of them aren't high def, but a lot of them are. So you got your different options here. Now, Phoenix has a really cool thing I like, which is called the DC versus Marvel. This literally has every single Marvel movie ever made, every single DC movie ever made. And you can watch them on the fly. So we go down here to Marvel. All the movies you could think of are right here. Something I did not know, which I found out scrolling through this, is that Howard the Duck, really old movie from the 80s, was made by Marvel. Had no idea. But these movies are all here. You can touch on any one of these movies and they'll play. So we can just go, let's see. Like I like Age of Ultron Avengers. So we go to that. And again, we see the link thing, link one. Let it open the stream just like we did before. And like I said, this depends on your internet. So the faster your internet, the better this is going to run. And see, sometimes, as you've just seen, the links don't always work. So we go to the second link. And that's why there's multiple links there. See, this one's going to load up. So that's a demonstration. So that shows you that um, sometimes the links don't work, but that's why they put multiple links there. If one doesn't work, the other one usually will. Again, you hit your middle button here. You can stop this. Let me go back. Same thing with the DC movies. Of course, you've got all the Batman movies, Catwoman, Superman's. So let's say we go to Batman Returns, 1992. Let's try Link 1. See what we get. It seems like sometimes the Link 1s don't work. So we go to Link 2. Hopefully this one will work. Looks like that one didn't work. Sometimes these movies work. Sometimes they don't. Usually if they don't, the links don't work. They'll fix them after a few days. This, this box updates itself when you run this program. So if something doesn't work the first time, come back later. It will work. We'll try the original Batman and see what happens. Remember, this is all streamed from the Internet. So sometimes it can take a moment to load. going on with these Batman movies but it's definitely not the box so it must be the must be the stream so it's also another thing I wanted to show everybody's big on the TV shows so with the TV shows the latest shows that are out there you know you got your Empire your Game of Thrones and it appears got Fear the Walking Dead of course got the regular Walking Dead so if you want to go to TV shows I use Exodus personally this is probably the best source for the TV shows. You go to Exodus. Exodus lets you choose by network. So you can know if you know what channel comes on, you just do this. So you go to networks. Got all your networks here. So we'll say, let's just say you missed that season finale of Empire. You go down here to Fox. All the shows that come on Fox will show up. Okay. So we go to Empire, season two, which is the latest season. And here are all the episodes. So that's the last episode right there. So we go right here, click on this. Now multiple links may come up. And if they do, you just choose any one.
Let's give it some time to load. And when it loads, okay, so all these are right here. Some of these are standard def. You can scroll through. Some of them are high def. The standard defs look really good. I got a 60 inch TV in my living room and the standard defs still look like high defs. So they say standard definition, but they're most likely still high def. So you click on this first one, give it a second to load. Let's try the second one. Like the second one's working. So see the second one worked. Like I said, it's not always the first link doesn't always work. There you go, right there, streaming just fine. And the good thing about these, no commercials. So when it when it gives time to cut to a commercial, it cuts right to the next part of the show. So you don't have to worry about waiting on commercials or fast forward or through anything with the DVR. You can pause it, rewind, fast forward, just like you can with a DVR box if you don't have the commercials. So. Remember, you hit your back arrow here, go back through the menus. And that's it. So it's actually a pretty easy thing to do. Um, pretty easy to use. Once you play around with this and use it for about 20 or 30 minutes, you'll be very comfortable with using it. Um, I may do another video to cover some of the other features. But basically, this everything that I've showed you here is how you basically use this. Now, when you're done using it, I want to point out this part. When you're done, say you want to turn it off, you just hit your house button first. That's going to take you back to the home screen. Once you do that, just tap your power button here at the top, and the box turns off. And the light, you can't really tell, but it's a little red light. That means it's in standby. So when you see that, you know you're ready. You can turn it off, turn your TV off for the day. Now, when you do fire it back up, all you do is press your power here, Turn it back on, and that light goes blue. TV should fire up, and there you go. And you go right back down here and run your stuff again. And that's it. If there's any other questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you out.